Back in the early 80s, my dad moved his used bookstore into an old warehouse in downtown Austin. As a matter of fact, there was a punk club called Voltaire's Basement that used to have performances in there while I was going to high school. Yeah, one night, my dad said he was going to take me out and show me the Austin jazz scene. We ended up at this really interesting venue called Symphony Square. Now, there was a creek that would run between the audience and the stage, and I would sit down by the creek, my back against this limestone wall, and listen to music. One night, we ended up there hearing the music of the Mitch Watkins group. And at this point, I'd only heard jazz in the form of Charlie Parker, traditional jazz. So here I was in Central Texas, which is really a musical gumbo kind of place. Musicians have to play all kinds of music. And I found myself listening to something that was a blend between Jimi Hendrix, John Coltrane, a little Carlos Santana, Charlie Parker, Jaco Pastores, Weather Report, all mixed up to one, right here in Central Texas. And Mitch Watkins would put his guitar through two giant amps, two giant Fender amps, and make these chordal compositions with, with a huge volume pedal and reverb that sounded informed by the harmonies of Stravinsky, maybe a little bit of Aaron Copeland thrown in there. And I was absolutely blown away. I'd never heard anything like it before right here in Austin, Texas. My name is Will Taylor, and I'm a huge fan of the Mitch Watkins group. Have been since 1983.